Modern diesel trucks require DEF or diesel exhaust fluid. What is DEF? Why is it required? How was it used? And how to avoid a costly DEF mistake? When we decided to full-time RV, we did a lot of research into RVs. And after hours and hours of YouTube videos on fifth wheels and trucks, we chose a Grand Design Solitude fifth wheel and a Ram 3500 long bed crew cab dual rear wheel truck to pull it. I had never owned a truck or any diesel vehicle before. There are several great options for diesel trucks to pull a fifth wheel and I chose the Ram, but that's not what this video is about. Two years ago, I bought the truck. A couple months before, we got the fifth wheel. In those two years, I've come close to putting DEF into the diesel fill port by mistake. The two ports are only a couple inches apart. A couple of times, I picked up the gas pump instead of a diesel pump before realizing my mistake and putting gas into the diesel tank. Either one of these mistakes could have cost me thousands of dollars in repairs. In this video, I will go over what DEF is, what it's used for, where to get it, and how to fill it. I will also go over some of the mistakes that can be made and how to avoid them. In January 2010, the EPA mandated that medium and heavy duty trucks meet the new emission standards to reduce nitrous oxide and particulate matter, which are responsible for a range of health problems. Car manufacturers use DEF and selective catalytic reduction technology to meet these standards. DEF or diesel exhaust fluid is 67% deionized water and 33% urea, which when heated becomes ammonia. It is a clear, colorless liquid that looks a lot like water and has a slight smell of ammonia. Diesel exhaust fluid is used in conjunction with a component of the exhaust system called the Selective Catalytic Reducer or SCR. The SCR is a muffler looking device where the DEF is mixed with exhaust gases by computer controlled injectors. The nitrous oxide in the exhaust gases goes through a chemical transformation into harmless water and nitrogen when mixed with the injected DEF. This process reduces the nitrous oxide by 70 to 90%. The other component of the modern diesel exhaust system is the DPF, diesel particulate filter, which reduces the amount of black soot that comes out. The way most people fill their DF tanks is to use a two and a half gallon jug like this one that you can get at most gas stations that pump diesel or auto parts store. I usually get mine at Walmart to save a couple of bucks. I prefer the Peak brand Blue DF, which comes in regular and a platinum version. The platinum version has an additive called Advanced System Shield Technology, which is supposed to extend the life of the truck's SCR. The regular costs $13 to $16 for a two and a half gallon container, and the platinum costs $20 to $23. The price per gallon for regular DF is about $6 per gallon, and platinum about $8 per gallon. For the first year and a half, we have used the DF pumps at truck stops to fill up our DF tank exclusively. These pumps look just like fuel pumps, but they have a much narrower filler nozzle than diesel pumps. This is a very easy and less messy way to fill up your DF tank and can be less expensive. I have only found these pumps at lanes at truck stops that are for 18 wheel trucks. You fill up your diesel. After you are done, the pump asks if you want to pump DEF. Tap yes. Pull out the DF pump handle and fill your DEF tank. These pumps are designed to fill huge tractor trailer DEF tanks, not little five gallon tanks like on a pickup truck. So you have to fill slowly so it will back up and spit DEF on you. Cost of the pump is about $3.20 at Pilots in Florida. For the last couple of months traveling north to Canada, we have not been able to fuel truck stops with DF pumps, so we've been using the two and a half gallons jugs of blue DF that we get from Walmart. Using the two and a half gallon jugs is really easy. First of all, take the jug out of the box. It comes with this included filler port. Take the jug out of the box. Unwrap the filler port. It comes with this expandable tube. It goes like that. I usually extend mine first. It has this little valve here to make it so that it's easy to siphon out. Pull the cap. It has this little peel seal right here. Just pull the seal. 
screw on the hose filler, the filler hose. Make sure it's nice and tight, but not over tight because it will strip. Pull off your blue def cap right here. Sometimes it takes a little work. Spin that off. Again, make sure that you're putting it into that, that uh, valve. I like to have a little table here when I do it so I can put it in here like that. And now I'm just going to tilt it up and start putting D up into the tank. As you can see, as it's emptying, it starts to collapse the tank, but the little black valve helps let air back into the tank. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll tilt it like this, I'll let a little air back in, and I'll hold it up like that. And it really pours in nice and fast. I'll do that until the tank is full. DEF is manufactured last about 18 to 24 months, depending on the storage conditions. The warmer it is, the faster it deteriorates. It's kind of like gasoline. It can go bad if it sits for long periods of time in the heat. The peak blue DEF boxes have a date code on them. The date code is very cryptic, so I had to call them to figure it out. PB is where it's manufactured. This means Pennsylvania. 2-2 is the year, but you have to subtract one. So 22 equals 2021. The next three digits are days left in the year. So 271 is 271 days left in 2021. To get days into 2021, we subtract 271 from, 370, from 365, which equals 94, or the 94th day of 2021, or April 4th, 2021. Can you believe that? The best way to check your DF is to use a DF tester that costs about $20 on Amazon and will tell you the concentration of urea in your DF. I go through DF pretty quickly, so I don't worry about my DF going bad. If your DF is anything but clear as water, don't use it. A good buddy of mine had a new Ram 2500 diesel truck back in 2015, and on a cold winter night in Canada, he was filling up his DF tank with a two and a half gallon jug. And just as he finished emptying the jug, he realized he had added the DF to his diesel tank port by mistake. Luckily for him, he realized his mistake before starting the truck. But he still had to siphon out every drop of fuel and DF out of the tank and flush it several times with fresh fuel. Even then, he got repeated fuel filter contamination warnings and had to flush the fuel filter many times. If you make this mistake, the best advice is to have it towed to the dealer and have the entire fuel system cleaned up. If you try to start the truck, and the DF contaminated fuel made it into the injectors, then you have a very expensive problem costing thousands of dollars in parts and labor. How to avoid this from happening to you? When filling the diesel or DF at the pump, stop and pay attention. Filling gas at the pump is such an automatic process. We've been doing it for decades. Any distraction could cause you to use the wrong fuel or put DF into the wrong port. Do not engage in conversation while fueling or adding DF. I used to chat with anybody around me at the pumps when filling my gas, but not when I'm filling the truck with diesel. I was recently at a station where the diesel pumps were full service only. I made sure the young kid at the pump understood that the truck was diesel, and I watched to make sure he used the diesel at the pump. When I got my truck, it came with this little plastic cap which is meant to be disposed of, but I kept using it because it helped remind me to use diesel. While researching this video, I found specialty caps that are made for diesel fuel ports on my Ram truck. I'm gonna get one to help visually remind me to use diesel. I also put labels on the fuel filler door to help remind me to pay attention and concentrate on what I'm doing. I've got pay attention and no distractions. Putting DF in the diesel fuel port is not an uncommon event. Lots of people have done it. Don't let this happen to you. Pay attention when fueling your truck. Do you have a diesel truck? Have you come close to making one of these costly mistakes? Or are you one of the unfortunate people that made this mistake? Please share your story in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful. We do lots of RV related videos like this, product reviews, campground tours, and of course, full-time RV travel experiences. If you like that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking this link below. I will also leave a link right over here for something for you to check out next. 
And remember, downsizing makes sense.